Hey everybody, here we're looking at a power supply board out of a ViewSonic VA1930W monitor, flat panel LCD monitor, and this is actually the second one that I've worked on. Both of them are from the same owner. The guy owns six monitors, three of them being this model. I repaired the last one about a year ago, and this one here is now suffering the same issues as the last one so obviously it's a common problem with these monitors basically what will happen is you'll try to turn the monitor on you'll see the LED light up on the power button but yet um, the backlight doesn't come on in, inside the monitor and basically what's going on here is these capacitors here these are Suscon I guess that's how you pronounce it there's the brand right there you can see upside down but Syscon and obviously it's a very poor quality capacitor and usually this one here that bulges you can see it's got a bulge top and it's actually leaked down a little bit and on the last one I replaced all four of these caps and that solved the problem it's got some more caps over here these are on the audio circuit which the guy obviously I highly doubt is using. The last one had Suscon all over. This one has TPOs right here. And this here is a TPO capacitor as well. I'll be changing out this one because it's on a very important circuit. But the others seem just fine. And apparently, um, if not my second issue, it only occurs with this 1000 microfarad. Syscon capacitor, but I always go and replace these two while I'm at it too, just to ensure reliability. So, anyways, I've tried to share it with you. If you ever have any ViewSonic VA 1930W monitors that all of a sudden they stop working after about, I don't know, five, six years of use, if not newer, don't be surprised when you have bad caps on your power, power supply board. Anyways, I had any questions or comments? Feel free to ask.